Hello everyone. For this mini project, we are we are going to present the thickness measurement using ultrasonic. For introduction, ultrasonic thickness gauging is a widely used non-destructive test technique for measuring the thickness of material from one side. This is the diagram looks like. Okay, how ultrasonic thickness gauge work? Ultrasonic thickness gauge work by very precisely measuring how long it takes for a sound pulse that has been generated by a small probe called an ultrasonic transducer to travel through a test piece and reflect back from the inside surface of far wall. Because sound waves reflect from boundaries between dissimilar materials, this measurement is normally made from one side in a pulse or echo mode. Apparatus and materials First of all, ultrasonic pulser. Ultrasonic pulser can transmit or receive ultrasonic pulse. Secondly, transducer. Transducer can send out a pulse of energy and the same or second transducer listens for reflected energy. The third is picoscope 3206 and the function is to detect and capture ultrasonic signal. The fourth is USB camera. USB camera is used to record the experiment. Finally, specimen. Specimen is the object that we have to use to, te to test. For formula of thickness measurement, we use V equal to 2x divided by delta T, where 2x stand for the total distance of ultrasonic wave traveled. And delta T is the interval time between third and second backward echo. And V is the velocity of the ultrasonic wave traveled. This is the initial pulse. This is the first backward echo. While this is the second backward echo. It level as T1 and T2. The time interval between T1 and T2 is labeled as delta T. The second diagram shows a transducer emitting ultrasonic. This is the transducer and this is the specimen. From A to B is 1x, while from B to C is another 1x. The same goes to C to D and D to E. Mm, measuring thickness of specimen needs vernier caliper and specimen. Mm. In order to find the velocity of sound in aluminium, we have to measure the thickness by using vernier caliper. The thickness that we obtain is 1.95 cm. Now that we know the thickness of the specimen, we can find the time using ultrasonic equipment. The apparatus and materials that we need are oil, the specimen, and a transducer. First of all, we must apply oil on the specimen. Then we put the transducer on the specimen to, to find the time. We use uh, 2 microseconds per division to find the time. The first back wall echo is 6.327 microseconds. And for the second back wall echo, the time is 12.44 microseconds. The first step of ultrasonic thickness measurement is to calculate the velocity of a non-calibration using the formula V equals to 2x over delta T. Using the known thickness we achieve that is 0.0195 meter multiplied by 2 and divided by 12.44 times 10 to the power of negative 6 subtracts with 6.327 10 to the power of negative 6 seconds. The, the answer is 6379.85 meter per second. For second ultrasonic testing, use 5 microseconds per second to find the thickness of the specimen. 
for the first backward echo, the time is 23.98 microsecond. And for the second backward echo is 47.78 microsecond. The second calculation is our main objective, that is to find the thickness measurement of the specimen. Using the same formula as before, V equals to 2x over delta T, we manipulate it to 2x equals to V times delta T. First of all, we find the delta T that we achieve from the picoscope. Then we apply it to the formula. So since both are the same material like the first calculation, we take the velocity 6379.85 meter per second and times it with delta T and we divide it by 2. The result is 0 0.0759 meter. 